last month I took 30 days off of social media. I didn't go on Twitter, no Facebook, no YouTube, no Goodreads. I'm in the Sean West community, I didn't go in there. I only used it as a tool. So, for example, Pinterest, I use it to save all of my links for everything so that I can find it later. Same thing with Goodreads. I used it to keep track of the books that I read, so I still used it for that. As far as the Sean West community, Twitter, and Facebook, that's strictly for my growth personally and for my business, and so that I don't feel as alone in my entrepreneurial ventures. I wanted to go over how it went, and day one felt really strange. I didn't really know what to do with myself other than going on social media, like I had all this time on my hands that I needed to fill. So I just kept working. Like I worked pretty much until my brain couldn't anymore and then I used to use social media as a break just to kind of scroll around and see what was going on and see what everybody was up to. But not being able to do that, I ended up doing dishes as a break. And as time went on, I noticed that I was able to get more and more done, and I also noticed that I was researching a lot more to fill that time. So if I didn't want to get something done, then I would research like a tutorial or a problem that I was having, or if something just came to mind, I would do research for it right then. And I kind of felt lost a little bit, because... Being in a community, you get to see what other people are doing, and you're sharing with them what you're currently doing, and that keeps you on track. It helps you stay accountable. And not having that, I found that I was missing it. I came back to social media last week, but I wanted to give it a week to see how it was. One of the questions that they asked at the end of this experiment was, after these 30 days, do you think that your life would have been better with these tools back in your life? Now that I've been on Twitter and Facebook and back in the community for a week, I definitely notice that my business has improved, my life has improved, I'm smiling more, like I didn't realize how much of a downer I kind of got not being in a community. I feel more fired up to do things and it it really brought it into perspective how much I depend on seeing other people and what they're doing to keep me going as an entrepreneur and a geeky person going on this geeky venture. The other question that Deep Work asked was, were you missed in any of these areas? What, did anyone miss you on Facebook? Did anyone miss you on Twitter? Did anyone miss you anywhere that you weren't? I wasn't at all. I was not missed whatsoever. Like, nobody said, hey, it's been a while, where have you been? You know, glad to see you back. Nobody said that to me, but I am still pretty new in this rebrand. Now, if I had been around for a couple of years and all of a sudden I disappeared, I'm sure, you know, everyone would be more worried. But I'm still new in the Sean West community and I'm still new being everywhere on social media compared to how I was a couple of years ago. So I'm not missed as much now as I was before. I'm sure it's going to be different for everybody. If you tried this experiment and you're not missed, that's okay. I mean, seriously, that's how the world is. Like, we forget things so fast. So fast. Like, we'll get all excited and obsessed over somebody like Casey Neistat or whoever is a popular vlogger on YouTube, if they went away, we'd be sad, but we just find somebody else. You know, it's the same thing when your favorite TV show is on and you're so excited and you're so sad when it's over, but then you find something else. Don't feel worried if you're not missed when you go and then you come back. It's okay. You're okay. I'm okay. But I wanted to 
explain to you how this experiment went and I'm really glad that I'm back and I'm kicking out a ton of content right now. I get to share it with everybody again. It's really exciting. So I'm glad that I'm back on everything. And I wanted to see if you've ever taken any time off of social media. Have you thought about it? What's kept you away from doing it? What are you afraid of? I know I was afraid of all of my numbers dropping off the face of the earth, but my follower counts didn't change at all whatsoever. Share with me in the comment your experiences, your fears, what you think would happen, what you're afraid is going to happen. Let's have a conversation. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.